Big up for your city, your team. Every sound, every shoe I'm back in my day. Uncle Percy, you're real king. Key and Brown, legend in the media team. Best comedian, funny scene. Big up Chris Savage, no soft like cabbage. Everybody your favorite team. Shut the f up. Somebody <laughs> call me, you are leaving. Are we ready? Yeah, we've been ready. We've been there for an hour. Sorry. That's all right. You come late. And sometimes you're late. You come late, and then you lose your phone. But sometimes you're then late. Then we have to try and find your phone. Then oh, we no, go. But then how much time have you been late? How much time have you had to wait for Kane to come for his no. Uber? I'm coming from the so, furthest. So, you're it, coming from around the corner. Why you're still late. You're the guy who brought red light. You coming from the corner. I come from um, London Bridge. That's around the corner from where oh, I come please. from. From where I come from, that's around the corner. Percy was the first one here. That's why I have to... No one can cuss Percy about timings. Yeah, but your timing ain't always great. And you can't always give me that... that, that all right, because your train messes up. I was coming from a train. So what, what made you come here late then? Because I was where I was. What do you mean? I don't want to say it out loud. No, not that. That's not why you was late. You were late because you had, to go, you had to shoot something with Percy, so you had to go to the supermarket. No, but I was late even before that because the, the train. Okay. I had to get a specific train to get here. Okay. So... So what now? Nothing. But you did apologise. You're talking about the apology for being late No, now. but you tried, you tried to throw that in like, I, like you're never late. <laughs> don't, don't try to make I, me feel bad. No, I'm not... I'm, <laughs> don't, don't to be it. fair, things have changed though. Don't you remember? You used to pick me up all the time. Mm. Exactly. And, and did you fucking mash up your car got 12 points? Yeah, and then you do me for being late once. After a while... You've you not been up. late once, Chris. I've never asked you for petrol. <laughs> I knew, I knew he was holding it in his head, you know. I knew Chris was holding it in his head. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask man for petrol. If we're not, going in the same direction. No, but I'm going to give you some petrol money. I wouldn't ask man for petrol. No, Come on, don't be silly. Because you're bringing it up like you're, you're something. No. You? No, I'm going to give you to your life. All right, okay, good. You know, I don't even think I've got cash on me. <laughs> I just remembered I got my other trousers. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the Rated 18, people. I'm your host, Christopher Savage. I'm here with... Kane Brown. Respect. And Mr... Uncle Percy, man, big up yourself. Percy right. looked tired. I'm sorry I'm late, people. Percy looked tired. Why, why are you so tired, Percy? I'm not going to lie. Just before me come here, me eat her big food. Oh, so it make you tired. So that is why you catch me asleep, I feel tired. But me know see you want to say something. Brother, why, 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 why did you eat before the show then? Because me did hungry. Me did have a busy day to day. But then that's what I'm saying. So that means you ain't eating the, properly. At the high toast. No, no, no. Me get up from about four or five o'clock in the morning. This morning? Yeah. And you get up that time as well, don't yeah. you? Yeah. What time do you wake up? 7.30. 7.30? Mm. That's nice. That's gold dust to me. You're man. mad. That's not that, even enough. That, that, that's a late. But that's what time good. do you go to bed then for you to be able to get up at four o'clock? You know what it is? My body clock. Sometimes if me go to bed eight, nine o'clock, Sometimes you can... It depends on where mm -hmm. you're, you're digging out Tintun. Sometimes the Mirel <laughs> just want to talk to me. And you listen to them? I'm a good listener, you know. Mm. With your eyes closed, a, <laughs> when you When you close your eyes, you can visualize everything what, what happened. So hold on a second. So how much sleep do you normally get then? About four or five. Mm. Chris, you can't survive in four or five hours sleep. Chris, you can't survive in four or five hours sleep. You know, like a, I, you know, my favorite things are naps, though, like thirty-minute power blast nap or hours perfect. But sometimes I don't. No, but it's unhealthy for you to get four or five hours sleep. I know. Even with the nap. I know. Because they, what is it they say? They say that you to get into REM sleep, you need to go past eight hours, um, eight hours, something, something minutes. Yeah. Mm. That's the ideal amount. They say it takes. Um, that's how long it takes for your brains to flush out all the old stuff. All the fuckery. So then, if you're, get, if you're waking up after four or five hours... I've got a bag of junk in my head. <laughs> it's like a trash can. <laughs> Man don't want to go there, boy. You know what's something... like them girl from back in the day? You didn't go there, you had the girl Chris at the house, nasty like fuck. <laughs> That's his head. <laughs> yeah, sorry, plus. <laughs> no, no, me say, me, 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 me wake up and fight off the heightest. Mm -hmm. Because I refuse to make food. Make me turn sleepy. Mm -hmm. Big up all the real teens. Mm -hmm. Big up all the Caribbean highlands, them. Wala, what's your name again? <laughs> Miss Grant. That's it. Big up yourself, Miss Grant. And what about your other friend? Which one of them? Ooh. 
Oh, you're going this way. <laughs> Don't worry, man. You're so you're so <laughs> Don't worry, you have a little bread first. Eh? <laughs> Chris, may I ask you a question? Uh huh. You have a picture of a transvestite in your phone? <laughs> no, that was so funny. And it's not transvestite, it's a, my trans phone will melt. It's a transsexual. You have a picture of a transsexual in your phone? No, my phone will melt. I sent it to you. So that's <laughs> no, a you lie. Didn't. You didn't send it. <laughs> that's a lie. Is that why you threw your, is that why you lost your phone today? Because <laughs> I know me still want to know how him, what you might do with, with, some, with that in your phone. But I told you why. I said I tried to get Chris of it. No, but how did he get in your phone first? You erased it, yeah? <laughs> hold, on, hold on a minute. How it get in your phone in the first place? Uh, what do you mean? How it get in your phone in the first place? It came place. up on my timeline, on my what feed. What is the thing that do for your timeline? Huh? What kind of thing do you watching? You see what, <laughs> you see what I mean? Love the babe. Me you know something? Since me have this social media, right? You're not full of shit. Me, me begin for who understand how this something Work. Go on, pass. When we begin to look upon the sexy Merrell them, right? <coughs> All of a sudden, I'll we get beer Merrell them come upon my timeline. No, you should see my explore timeline. Bare batty, just twerking. You know that we are there. So for him, timeline, and them thing that come past for him, timeline. <laughs> oh, shut up, you fool. <laughs> Bear Willie, sir. Wait a minute, shut up, you fool. It's the truth. So hold on, mate. So you never been on Pornhub, and all of a sudden, it find a random thing, and you say, Ross Clark, I ain't never been on this before. <laughs> <laughs> and you're about to click on it, because you're like, what is that? Hold on. <laughs> we are there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I'm not going to lie, I'm being fooled. I've been fooled. But you click on that. That's what I'm saying. You don't realize. I clicked on it. However, sometimes before I watch the video, uh, I scroll down to see if there's anything better. One time I clicked on something, but I never played it. I okay. scrolled down, and then I started seeing TS. What's that mean? TS. Oh. What is TS? Transsexual. And then I said, Woo! And I pressed the backward button. <laughs> 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 but try to go back on it <laughs> like it never happened. One on you, one on you. Must hear them. Speaking of sex tape, uh, have you lo heard about a politician? What politician? So there's a politician that got exposed for having at least. <laughs> no, man, I feel we are cut, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wet? Yeah. You got his, cut, man. He got exposed for what? For having 400 sex tapes of different politicians' wives. Do you know what? Different. Yeah. So, that's there. so a man, uh, a politician, I don't know how they got his phone. But I don't know if it was in his phone. It might, be, it might have been his phone or a hard drive or something, didn't it? Yeah. And then they managed to find 400 sex tapes of him with like different people that he knows. Um, Him have sex with 400 politicians. Might be wives. the same woman about two, three times. I don't oh, know. Oh. Yeah, so it might but, be like about 80 or 90 people, different people. But do you know what, though? If you had power, mm. do you think... <clears throat> I've recorded all of them. Would you? Yeah, just in case they want to call something upon me. He has to protect yourself. But would you, you tell know? them that you recorded? Yeah. Have you ever recorded yourself? Of course, I've record myself. Yes. Do you know what? I's... You never do it. Trust Years me. Years ago, but... No, no, I don't know, nah. I bash no. off to my own videos with girl. Uh, what you say, Chris? Myself, beating. I like my own porn. Hold on, you, you beat off yourself to yourself? <laughs> I'm to my own That's videos. That's my Matrix thing, <laughs> but... <laughs> no, I'm saying, if I make a video... Well, I'm not mean it, Chris. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You heard it right, Percy. Me never, tell me, sir, me never hear you. You heard it very correct. You beat off yourself. To himself. To yourself. No, wait. You didn't hear that. So you would turn your hand. <laughs> no, you idiot. I beat off to my own porn videos. But you're in it. With women in it. Yeah, but you're in it as yeah, well. Yeah, but it's more about the woman. You think I'm looking at myself? Yeah, but you're in it, Chris. Because I, mean, I can vision my own self there. It's like masturbating to your own imagination. No, but, but it's live. No, but I, no, because if I'm there, Chris. So why, why record if you're not gonna? Suppose on the last shot, what you end up bust on is your old bay, and it just. <laughs> Jericho. Chris, you can't push that back in. How can I not bust on no. my old bay? No, what? but like, if, supposing now, you, how you end up 
the position you end up, obviously you're not staying still with the woman, innit? You're in different positions. Yeah. So suppose in one of the positions, it's as soon as you're about to bust. But I watched my old videos before and I know, all right. You know what, but you're going to pass out. Yeah. Oh. My right. own videos, I'm, that's why I'm, I should be a porn star because I'm I, like, I do this right. I want to know something, people. Is that, is, does that sound... Narcissistic? Is, I wouldn't even say not. Who are you, but are you looking at your moves though? And like, right, no, I'm not looking at myself. I'm not looking, yourself, but are you looking at like... noise, seeing her booty, and it's me that's doing that. So I know, I know my, my vision and not, you're putting yourself in that So what are you're for, cause... Purely, I'm rather bash to You're full because purely upon the morale. Yes. Well, I would oh. rather do that than, than focus on the next man. No, but brother, you're bash. I'm not going to next man beating a girl because I see him. It's like, I don't want to see your hood on your screen. You're bash after yourself. No. Oh, all right. <laughs> no. No. That's why I'm saying, we are just selling for a while. Oh, you thought it's just him on the screen? No. What? I'm just dead. If they both do the teacher, man. You have to worry now. Yeah. Chris is trying to copy him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I knew there was a woman in it. Definitely. I knew that. But I just never heard of anybody. Yeah. I suppose that that's quite... It's your own know. porn video. But is it... No, yeah, but I don't know anyone else that's ever said that they've done that. Because no one, everyone lies. Why make, why make a video then with a woman if you're not gonna... Yeah, but you might not bash over it, you might just watch it back, innit? But some women masturbate to imaginations of them having sex with a male. Agreed, yeah? agreed. And some men masturbate to themselves having sex Do you think, imagining themselves. Do you think that men, you just use their imagination? There's some men out there? Yeah, of course. There are some men like that. Are you? If me what? <laughs> what, masturbate? Like with visions, just re, just like thinking with about everything in your head. Mirror. Me know say who no thinks I'm sleepy, but me not that sleepy. No matter with them thank you, thank you business there. Yeah. <laughs> There's not thank you. I mean, no we are not going with this. No, but I'm asking like, is, have you ever bashed to your imagination where you've not looked at something? Mm. All right, Zacharias. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you have as much morel as I did back in my days, you no need to bash. You met the Morel bash. No, I heard that. Don't tell me you've never bashed. Listen to me. You never bash, first. Listen to me, now, man. Who I'm told, who don't talk so much. Mm -hmm. Stop this bashy bash business. <laughs> we have Morel for. To have sex with you. Yeah, but you do. I haven't got them all the time. Yeah. So you can't wait. No, but if you don't want to wait. You know how much Morel, when them are flick for them beans. Mm -hmm. Imagine me. You better know not that. that many first. Back what? in the days, maybe. You not know now. What I mean? Not now. Women are not imagining oh, you. Know you. That. They're not imagining you oh, right you now. Know that. Not right now. Why are you such a hater, man? <laughs> <laughs> the hater. <laughs> yeah. You're such a real hater. I don't, I don't think they imagined you now first. <laughs> no, listen to me, Chris, Kian, Zacharias. Chris, brother, listen to me. All right then. Think about you this. You don't know nothing about Marel, then, right? From you have not had a Marel, imagine. You, where them are bashed to you. You can't tell I have me. had that, but I'm going to tell you, you something. You cannot have that. No man who fall asleep after two dumplings can tell me now. <laughs> you can't tell me now. You need to keep quiet. Kian, you need to go sleep. You never hear me and tell yourself we get up from three, four o'clock in the morning. Have a man's conversation. Have about three, four o'clock. Only pick your note. Chris, after, after food. How about three, four o'clock in the morning we wake up and I've been up we're past. Once a man, out. twice you know a child. Then? And when we eat a big plate of food, me just feel sleepy. I just ate just now. I'm cool. What you eat? I just ate now. Beans and water? No. <laughs> you know, see, so you eat one pack of shit. <laughs> you don't eat sensible, you know. No, my, my food was nice. What you eat? I had mutton with rice. Some, you just have some to make it up, man. Top it like No, man. it was sambal. You have beans and shit. <laughs> sambal? Up, yeah. What's sambal? It's like, um, what type of food is it like? We are, Korean, we are, we Korean all type food, like Malaysian. So you have curry goat and sunburn and Malaysian? <laughs> sunburn. <laughs> what is sun? <laughs> Sambal. It's Sambal. Got, it's got like a um, hot it sauce in it. It's bad stuff, isn't it? It's nice. It's got anchovy, dried anchovies on it, peanuts. Anchovies? Anchovies. And you eat like bulgur wheat and them thing there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like things are good for you. But you're, you two are into nutrition. That's why I'm Your surprised that you... Your shit must be well stink. <laughs> Chris. That's what? why he's always shitting. <laughs> Chris, are you trying to tell me, yeah? 
<laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> what a company is that? Who do you think smells the worst? Out of all three of us. Out of all three of us. Out of all three of us. Sambal and Bogo. <laughs> yeah, that would be us here. The man I heed one bag of corruption, <laughs> foolishness. But Harry oh. Gorton. What do you call it? Cherim Bim? <laughs> Where are you again? Chris, out of, of, and and Chris out, 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 out of all three of us, you who do you think's got the most nasty stomach? I feel be honest, Chris. Yeah, you know he cheats on them, are you? From you. Kian, how could it be me? All right, let me you tell you like why are you. a monster. Listen well. to me. You eat enough. Let me tell you something. You eat enough. Right? Kian, so because enough. you eat a lot, your belly is going to be wrapped up in bare fuckery. No. Let me tell you something. That's right? why you ain't shitting. No, no listen to me. <laughs> That's why blood Go comes. On, I'm, come not, I've been, I'm not getting on to you, right? But I'm going to teach you something. Yeah. <laughs> you know this thing where you call bad bacteria? Yeah. Right? <laughs> and how them feces we have to eat. All right. Me will allow you. Because you're bowers. <laughs> right? <laughs> But when you go in at the doo doo pit, you know how much dirty feces and worms and maggots they in there, and then they come down in your tripe, in your throat, in your gut, and come out your ass. Come on, kid. Yeah, I'm going to teach you. He ate some strong belly food the other day, you know, Bombay something. I don't know what. That, I don't know how your belly could have. When I looked at the menu, I knew that I was going to fuck up my belly. But you. Oh, no, where, where was this? Leicester. But you got. Oh, that. you didn't eat in there. Yeah, you was like, I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got iron belly. You can handle it. You know what, though? You don't have us tricks direct. No, but come diet. on. Chris is like a baby, though. We went in there. I saw Chris look at the menu. I heard his belly go. <laughs> Chris was like, I'm going to go get pizza. I said, Yeah, pussy. Oh. The man said he's going to go get pizza. And I'm, I'm trying to get like seasoned food. So you can't. But well, I don't understand. That spicy shit. Your belly can handle that. Yeah. That means that you got an iron belly. But so can't you eat like your mum's food? Is it not spicy? Yeah, but it's not like that type of Asian food. You know, say certain no. people cheat. You know, say some people when them cook, then put whole leaf of pepper for this guy that you know no, no flavor. Okay. Because mm. there's that difference with pepper and spice. Yeah. When you, when you taste food well, well seasoned down mm. and cooked down. But some people. Fling whole heap of hot pepper. Just to mask it. Just to mask half it. I'm telling you, that's why you shit blood. Because the heat from that food burn your battery ring. <laughs> you eat plenty of fiber. <laughs> you have fiber in your diet. Yeah, vulgar wheat. I do eat fiber. I eat fiber. But, I, but I've been on the road. Okay. And it's hard to eat healthy on the road, know. you know? I went, I went for my blood test. Ross. We went Wednesday today. A Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, I went from blood test yesterday. Is it? Mm. How, how, how? No, I mean, she took it. I got, I got a little mark here for my blood. Right. And um, I took a urine test as well. I just checked Did you ask them for that? Yeah. And she, the woman looked at it. it was, she goes, yeah, it looked clear to me. Yeah, Why is she Asian looking at your piss like that for? I don't know. She's like, it looked clear. It looked cool to me. Fine. Yes. How could you watch? She's going to tell you that you got it all clear from just looking at your piss. Well, she just... They're experts. But she's going to test it, don't you? They're going to yeah, test it. Yeah, of course. It. That's mm. how I'm just waiting for results. But she said, God willing, it looks everything good. come back good. Yeah, man. Yeah, brother. So, um, in general as well, yeah? <clears throat> What's your health like nowadays? Listen to me. I always maintain a certain level of fitness. <laughs> Remember, brother, he was sleeping 15 minutes ago. <laughs> 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 Chris, what time is it? I don't even, so hold on a minute. I think Blue Peter's still on. <laughs> so hold on. <laughs> Nobody don't get tired after they eat a big plate of food. No, not like that. Not to the point of where I'm going to sleep. Not where I'm going to sleep. But all right, let me tell you something. If me move around, me is a weird. But you see, me sit down comfortable for mm. too long. I'm not you going to asleep. lie. Me mm. can't drop asleep. Mm -hmm. But so your health is all right at the moment. Listen to me. Remember, when me back the go last year, yeah. and when me go a doctor for get check and everything, them when they the doctor said to me in them own words, me have to prepare for be like this for the rest of my life, but it never going to get better. Mm. I never knew that they said that to you, know. Until they said that last week, I didn't know that they said that to you. Them tell me saying that never going to get better. Look at me now. Me so was, it, hold on, was it an ongoing thing then? No, it is a chop nerve. That's useless of them to say that, though. But no, because but you know why? Guys, but but yeah. let me tell you something. Do you know why me like that? Because me prove them wrong. Don't you dare tell me that. Of course. So what do you think that you need to improve with your health? 
<clears throat> what do you think you need more of? I'm going to be honest. Um, at the moment, only because I'm on tour, veg. Veg. More veg. Me 100%. Too. I think myself too. But I don't think you... Even when you got the opportunity to eat veg, do you eat, if it's on your plate, will you eat it? Of course, I love oh, veg. Okay, I prefer okay. veg to fruit. Is it? Mm. What about you, Purse? You know something women like? Yeah. But we just can't take the smell of? Mm. Fish, you know steam fish? Yes. When you, when, when you have to buy it from the shop. fish is fresh, it don't have no smell. If the fish is fresh. All right, let me explain to you. I don't have no fish. I don't when like you eat fish. You don't eat fish? That's mad. You know what is good for me? A me, I got something. A me, I got free. A me, I got free. Only tuna. That yeah. don't count. No. When me go at the shop and me buy a big batch of fish, right? Mm. Me forget, because me usually put a plastic bag down on the boot, mm -hmm. right? One time me go out one shop and me buy a whole heap of fish and then the damn something leap on the, the boot. Yeah, cover. that's there forever. Me say it's that's stinky, really stinky, stinky. Yeah, stink. that's, and once heat touch that? Me mm. can't take it. But um, once it's clean it up yeah. and season it and cook it down. Wow, you can't taste me, man. Mm -hmm. But Listen, I've got a um, question to ask you. I want to know you if you lot think this is true, yeah? yeah. Mm. They said that, is a, statistics have come out and they said that 80% of unmarried men are depressed. 80%? Of unmarried men are depressed. Unmarried. Rotted. Why do you think that is and do you think it's true? Look, they could be depressed. But that also includes incels. What's that mean? You don't know. Do you know what incel is? Incel? Yeah. Will you sell what? No. <laughs> do you know what incel is? You sell himself. What is himself? <laughs> no, not what himself. What himself? I think you're an incel. <laughs> are you are himself? What you sell? An incel is involuntary celibate. So that means that you're not having sex, but it's not by your choice. It's where you get this from? <laughs> So you just make up certain things. Chris. <laughs> okay. If you don't if you don't believe me. You say a fool guy to your head. No, man. Intel. Intel. You find that one Intel is. Well, Intel. <laughs> Sell your club. What, what's this say there? Incel. What's this? <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait. The <laughs> man saying sell himself. <laughs> mm. You see, you want me for wake up, don't trouble trouble. <laughs> I do research it here. No, but, go but that, so, yeah, so that 80% includes men that can't get pump pum as well. Mm. So that's gonna be high. All right. Let me just clarify it like this, mm -hmm. right? We are all human beings. Everybody would like to have that person next to them. You know, when you just want to go home and have somebody to snuggle up to. Well, yeah. Uh, you know, they're weird, they're like you're like a soul me. But would you say 80% of people that are not married are depressed? I don't know the statistics, mm. but all I know, loneliness is a real thing. It's a killer. And I think that I'm worried about you for that. Why? I'm not lonely. Now, but you're one of those guys that are going to get old. Nah, I'm fine. I, I, like, want, I, I like want you to try something, Chris. I like loneliness. See? Well, you can't do it really you too long. I'm a lone dog, bro. I Just like, imagine this, right? Like space. And remember, there's people out there like this, you know, mm. where you can be in your house, feel like a month, Two months, nobody don't call you. Nobody don't ring your doorbell. Right. Nobody don't even check for see what you do. Nobody don't fart upon you. Mm -hmm. It's not a nice feeling. Just imagine you go from Mr. Him. Everybody will call your name, they want to be with you. And then later on, nobody not. You think I'm lonely next time? Well, that's the thing. I create my own happiness. Even mm. though happiness is temporary, like I said before, but I create it. You're for fire yourself. I go to classes, like I've done loads of little not things. Not even the classes, one not you, Chris? <laughs> 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 but honestly, people are lonely, you know? I know. Loneliness. But that's, the, that, that's their fault. No, Chris. Mm. Not all the time. Mm -mm. Some people go through depression. Unless you're like, um, oh, that, that's different. Yeah. But I'm saying in general, if you're not depressed, then, and you don't go out and do nothing, then that's your fault, right? Well, that is true, because you know something, you have to go out there and go and meet people and go out there. Do you think so. you can make friends now? Who? Me? You. Easy peasy. No, but a real friends. Real friends? Yeah. You only know a real friend over a certain amount of time. Mm. How, you know what's waiting? the date? What's the date for a real you friend? Can't put, when you go for certain circumstances, that is when you know who's there. Mm. All right, I'm going to tell you something, right? Mm -hmm. Back in me here, dears. When money did a drop from trees like water fountain, right? Mm -hmm. My phone used to blaze like nobody's business. 
But then after a while, the big man upstairs said, hold on, I mean, the person, not everybody around you is real. Remember, hold on to your riches and see who go and call you then. So you, right? you lost all your money. All the fake ones fizzle out. Fake ones just go in it. And only the real ones stay. Lay down on the floor and go like you're dead and see who's going to come and rescue you. That's how you're going to find fear your real friend them. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll tell you where I went this week then. All right then. All right. So, prime example. Mm. I went to um, Dean Forbes. Um, he, got, he got voted number one he's who that? most influential black man in the UK. Big year. up Dean Forbes. It's basically, he's a yeah. businessman. Yeah? Yes, man. Big up. Billionaire, man. isn't it? Billionaire. Company's worth couple of billion, two billion. What? Yeah, yeah man, big up right. yourself, man. From right. Peckham originally. No, Catford. Yeah, I knew that. Same thing. So, <laughs> so, so, and I got invited. I said, Chris, come down. And Chris couldn't come down. I did, but I was ready, but he didn't call me. I didn't know you was ready. But I told you, I'm, I'm there. I'm, I'm ready. I'm waiting for your call. Anyway, Chris didn't go. <laughs> he did call So me. I went down there, VIP. You know what I mean? <laughs> come through, Kane. Brother, there's people queuing up. And they were like, no, come through, come through. Excuse me, can you mind that away? Mind your back, watch your back. <laughs> I said, all right, mind that, mind that. I had to cover myself, paparazzi, and all that thing there. So, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I ended up queuing up behind everybody. Like, <laughs> well, I'm big, bad, and you, you queue up. I felt ashamed. I felt ashamed because I didn't recognize... And he's so tall I didn't now. recognize nobody in the queue. <laughs> you know, so there's something that I, I do on your back, even back in the days. I do on queue up, you know, thing. No, but it was inside, it was inside. It was only VIP. So everybody there was invited. Mm -hmm. So you got a queue in it. Unless you're like yeah. a proper, proper roll, name. Too, too. Listen, I'm I know my position in it. I'm a known face, but I'm not I'm not like a mm. boy, he's gonna get harassed if we leave him out here. Mm. So a guy inside, Kano's in there, Idris Elba's in there, mm -hmm. Getz is in there, D double E's in there, mm. Scraps is in there, well, never listened Bobby to Sanders them, there. You never listen to that man growing up. Are you mad? Lisa <laughs> Mafia's there, you Kelly might, LaRock's there. Name me a Getz lyric. <laughs> DW. DW. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Last week, week, week. All right, all right. Kano. He's in queue. He's in queue, brother. He's in queue. Right, cool, cool, cool. oh, please cool. don't fair test enough, me, Chris. Enough, don't fair test enough. me. Desmond Decker. No, 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 Brother, Bounty is my favorite artist. Hey, look, he's thinking, you know? <laughs> no, you don't know I'm not know trying Bounty. to prove myself. Wait, you don't know Bounty? I'm not trying to prove myself. Chris. Oh my God. I'm you not don't trying know to prove Bounty myself, killer. Chris. I'm not Pass. trying to prove Bounty myself. Bounty killer. So we ride in the West. We're having bully bull vest. <laughs> you never know what that is. man. I don't know. You're going to go, you're going to say Sim Zimmer. <laughs> the and base. they whirl is something that. <laughs> Sorry, God, was that But anyway, you know, I'm actually white. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right, go on, I, I'm not all of them artists. So all of them are in there now. Yeah. And it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking, you look around, it's just like, who's who? Tim Campbell, the guy who won, um, fucking, what's that? Apprentice with Alan Sugar. First one. Like, the first one, the first black the guy. Day. Yeah, from yeah, back yeah, in the yeah. day. And he had he, gold something. Yeah, ah, no, not him. I wonder what happened to that brother. He was gold plating stuff, yeah, weren't he? Gold no, 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 no. He was on another program. Um, and then um, Timu, I think his name. I'm still saying his I name. I didn't bro. name them. The some, business, some of the them, you know who them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but it was, it was a dope event, bro. Is it? Yeah, it was a dope event, man. Yeah. And it was just like, just there celebrating a guy who's come from, he was homeless twice with his mum. His mum's disabled, and he's come through that. And just, yeah, yeah, he's done amazing, bro. What a team. Yeah, he's done amazing. He's, he's done, done amazing. Like, like them stories, man. man. Yeah. Two billion as well, you know. Two brother, billion. All the, brother, the man could have just brought me off a, a quick three billion. Can I firm? Set man up. Me not beg, brother. Me not. Me just make a suggestion. Me not beg, you know. Just a little money. Me not beg, you know, brother. You know Jamaican. Brother, me not beg, you know, you know. Oh. That's what my decorator used to say. Uh, he come in my yard and he thought, bro, this guy's got a bit of money. And he gave me, he gave me the f first quote. And then when he started going around and I was just like delivering material easily without complaining, he started saying, 
Yo, this I got cast this, you know. Me not begging up. Me not begging up. Not much, not much. And yeah, he kept yeah. doing that. That's yeah. They'll do that. Mm. They'll do that. I think that's like wrong with our, with our culture, you know. <laughs> you know me have a fun fact about them Yeah. Where do you think in the world have the more fearful and loyal woman? Turkey. You say Turkey? Where you say? Oh. Is it somewhere oriental? I don't, I can't make me say that now. Come on. Take a, just pick somewhere. Yeah, it's probably an Asian girl. Yeah, they're compliant. Yeah. They're definitely more compliant. No, Hello, hold on. Okay. Or Eastern European. Eastern Europeans or Oriental? Definitely, definitely. Oriental. Well, so this is going by Google. So you know, say Google can tell lies certain times. So, so the most, the most, what is it? The most loyal, fearful woman there. It's either Eastern Europe or in one of the I'm Oriental going countries. With, I'm going with Thailand. Thailand. I, I know. I'm gonna go with somewhere in Eastern Europe. Um, uh, yeah, somewhere in Eastern Europe, like one no, of those Eastern. I don't groups. trust. One that. of those cold countries. No, I don't trust. You ready? Go on. Mm -mm. Brazil. No You're way. You're mad. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Oh, no. That seedy fucking place. Go to your phone and check. Do you know how disgusting they are? Mister, you fit check it. Cameraman. I beg you to Google it. South America. Me. Have you seen? Mister, you fit Google it. Where, where women, which country have the most know, fearful or any liar place, woman? Any place that's got sun, the women are seedy. No, no, that? no. The men are seedy. The, the, men women, is, the men are seedy. You don't see how the women always winding up their batty. There's no way, Nick, Nick. I can't you. see that's Brazil, though, person. No I can't way. see how that's Brazil. I'm just repeating what Google told me. Have you ever seen Brazilian porn? It's disgusting. Have you seen Brazilian porn? Oi. <laughs> Why lips are hoi? Lips are hoi. Hoi. That's their word, isn't it? Hoi, sir. Brazil. Brazil. He's been, he's been, he's been, let me tell you, he's been, he's been, he's been, thank you very much. Brazilian ladies are generally considered to be the, among the most faithful ladies. Oh, among. Man. Fuck off. Among. among. Yeah, no you see, way. Edward. They said they're Brazilian. No way. No, no that might be right, you know, Chris. That will set you up and cut your ass. They might set you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, they're but they're faithful to the man that they set you up with. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> The no. killer. I refuse. Him. I refuse to believe that. You see, that what you think me don't know what, the What country is next? That's a seedy country. It must be Eastern Europe. Or, 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 or okay. in Singapore or something like that. Nah, me not trust Anushka. Okay, so in order. Russia, 15th. Russia, Russia it then sounds... Russia. Yeah, Russia is about right. Indonesia, 14th. Saudi Arabia, Even 13th. Have sex. Oh, that's what we forgot, Chris. <laughs> you see the Russian woman has sex? No. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Williams are oi. Russians are no. And the English go, oh. I watch too much porn, you know. <laughs> You're dirty rich. And they come and shake my hand. <laughs> Chris, no cameraman. Google where the most unfearful woman there come from. Turkey. No. Oh, you might be right. Let me give you the rest of the list. I think it's Turkey. Hold on, let me give you the rest of the list. So number twelve is Italy. Italy. What do you mean? What fearful are not fearful? Not faithful. 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 That's low down though. So eleven. Ukraine. Ooh, 11, Ukraine. 10, Pakistan. 10, Rocking. Pakistan. Are there Muslim girls that are going to like that? 9, South Africa. Chris, tell the bear. 8, your favorite place, Somalia. <laughs> They're going rass, you see. 7, Colombia. The Colombian women? Oh, no, no, no. they're saying mo like, it's getting better, so it's like more faithful. I don't trust it's them. It's a different list. Okay, 6, Japan. Yeah, that makes sense. It says on this list, 50 is Brazil. Ross. See, that makes more sense. So everything that is different. No, yeah. Brazil's low in the bottom. They're at the bottom. There's you put like you know everybody in Brazil. They're scum. No, they're not. Hold on, wait. This scum. Don't turn the this camera. This is the most faithful, yeah? Yeah, go on to the next five. So, 15 countries with the most faithful wives in the world. Yeah, that's it. You so, number five. four, South Korea. Oh, yeah, got to be four, compliant. South Korea. Yeah, Kim Jong-un, innit? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Three, China. China. What did I say? Okay. Yes, yeah. Asia. Two, Vietnam. Two, Asia. No, but that's what I was saying. No, me. <laughs> and one, Philippines. Yeah, all Asia. Yeah, the Philippines. Yeah, them, them women They're are... very compliant. Yeah, very. I'll be honest, if I was single, you know, I wouldn't mind going for a little Philippine team. An Asian team. Yeah, little Philippine. You sure you can't handle them? Who? 
they look at Marga Gyal. Hey, no, I'm not gonna lie to you, you know. Them girls, for some reason, Marga Gyal can take a hold of you, know, brother. Trust me, they could. Brother, you can. Brother, say you can pipe a skinny girl, you know. Deep pump pump. Listen, deep. I don't know where it goes, you know. It's like this bitch pump pump coming like the Doctor Who Tardis. <laughs> what do you get inside this seven bedroom with four bathrooms? <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah, come on. Come. All right. Well, let me ask you that question. Then, isn't it? <laughs> wait, wait, do you guys want the opposite? Yeah, uh, yeah give me the opposite then. And then I'll ask you that question. You're fucking up the vibes, man. Come on, man. So I'm just going to give you number one, Thailand. What, the least faithful? Mm. Thailand. Then Denmark and Germany. That's because they find, you know what it is? Because they probably just trying to latch onto a man with no, I shouldn't say that for I know some of guy Thailand soon. I'll go to Thailand <laughs> next week. <laughs> I don't want a Thai girl, though. No, I'm not saying you do. I'm just saying. Not my... They're, they're, do you know what it is? They're not my type, you know, Asian women. They got moustaches, some of them. I think the Thai ones, they got moustaches. No, a lot of them got sideburns. I don't mind that. I don't mind a little facial hair on a you woman. You want this to marry them, man. I said I don't mind a little facial hair on a woman. So you want a beard thing? Not a beard, but like... Every woman's got facial hair. Really? You don't mind? I'm saying I don't mind if she got like a little... You know like the, the, the kung fu, the little... You know the little tooth? When she got a free straw in her hair. <laughs> the little curl. And every time she smiles, she, she tickles her ears. <laughs> <laughs> whiskers. That's what, that was her name. Hey, Whiskers, come here. <laughs> All right, so I want to ask you, man, yeah? We're talking about women and stuff. You know, say this this episode is going to call Head to Toad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're going to tease Head to Toad. Cameraman. You'll see it. You'll see you'll it. You'll see it. see something as well. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's that bad. <laughs> Be too wicked. That's all me, I say. Carry on. Mm -hmm. What makes a top tier man? Because we're talking about all these women, right? And faithfulness and loyalty and stuff. What do you think makes a top tier man? Because I saw something where this man said, well, I'm six foot four. Me. I earn over a hundred k. Me. And um, he said something else. He said three things that made him a top ten man. Two of them was six foot four and I make over a hundred k. So that's what he would consider. I think the third one was a black man. Yeah, he said he was a black man. <laughs> I just ticked all boxes. Uh, what? So uh, you think that makes a top ten man? I'm a top ten man then. If that's the criteria. That's what he said. But I'm saying, what do you think? Oh, oh, I would say. Well, it depends, isn't it? Um, I don't know. Is height that important? I don't think for height's... women it is, yeah. But I don't think that a short guy can get girl if he's got the right other attributes. But he has to have bare yeah. other stuff to go. Not necessarily. A, 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 any guy with power can get girl. Of course. And a guy with charisma can get girl. Mm. So I think that men can use other attributes. Don't have to be physical. So I don't even know if the six four All thing right, is really the three things that makes a top ten man. I would say finance, yeah. so being able to look after a woman. Mm -hmm. um, protection, mm -hmm. being able to protect her physically. <laughs> Some of them whom I then say they can't protect themselves. Mm. Yeah, that's true, but you have to have a man that you can feel safe with. Like, if I had a daughter, I would want to know that she was with a guy, that if things went funny outside, he could protect her. Very true. So that's... that's and so then I would say another thing to make a man a high prof... Um, hmm... Just someone who is a good, kind person. Kind hearted okay. family man. Kind hearted family man. Yeah. Okay. But that is very true. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, the woman, Merrell, ladies want a decent fellow. You know that we are there? Treat them good, look after them, don't take them for liberties and all them things. They just you know that we so are what, there? what would your three be then? Top, what makes a top ten man? Can make love to them as good and satisfy them in the bedroom. Mm, that's right? one. What is the next important way with woman one? That's the only one you can bring <laughs> in. <isn't it? laughs> <laughs> well, I take one box, Chris. <laughs> no, no. All right. It's there for her when she is in need. Okay. You know that we are there? So attentive, being attentive. Attentive. You know, that yeah. she knows that when she's with him, she's safe. Mm -hmm. Be her safe space. Mm -hmm. When things are crumbled down, rowing her, mm -hmm. she can't just run to you. 
Come and get your house in there and settle yourself down. You're safe. Yeah. You know they're weird, eh? That's two. And look, you want her next one again? That's a tree. How much you want there? You want one more? Just one more. Yeah, one, one more. more. Yeah. Spontaneous. Pack I don't your think, bags I don't with all of them. I don't think that makes you a high value man, though. What do you mean? Be yeah. spontaneous. Somebody with a woman can trust. Yeah, but Chris is spontaneous. No, but what I mean is, right? Trust is a very big thing. Yeah, trust is a big one. Yeah. Right? You can lie to the cows come home, but you have to have trust. No, sir. When you say something, mm -hmm. she can believe you. Okay. <laughs> you have to have trust. Okay. What would you say then? Me. Um... Sex party, we do your dirty shit. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, like, you have to be good in the bed. So hold well, on, you know, when me say that now, why you not laugh? Why you don't laugh? No, because, that, because we knew that's what no, but that was the first. <laughs> yeah. No, because after you said it, your mind went blank. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I saw his mouth open. <laughs> that was it. All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anything else, bud? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's yeah. Definitely well, let me give you about three, four. No, but it, that is important. Top but, tier man, bro. Mm. Like, remember, women. It don't matter. Like, even if it's a geek, it has to be. And the man's a geek. He still has to be good for that geek in bed. Yeah, I agree. He has to be. Agreed. So a bedroom sex being a very good communicator. Yes, yes. That's a that's a very good one. I'll say two things that are. The, my biggest two things in a relationship is sex and communication. If one falls, then the other... So what about trust? Communication, though, isn't it? That is just talking, Chris. That's part of communication, I think. Yeah, but you can't talk to a Maryland and you can't trust a damn shit will come out of her mouth. So, uh, all right, no, but it, you, well, there's another one then. What's your third one? Um, so sex, communication, and um, finance. Mm. What about honesty and trust? But that's not top ten. Like the big foundational things. Like a woman needs to know, oh, he's got money. That means he's protected. So as long oh, as the man have bed. money and he lie, it don't matter. From him have money. Communication. Hmm? That's what I'm saying. It covers it, everything. Yeah, communication does cover a few of the topics though, first. Because then he might not be he might not be trustworthy, but he might tell her he's not trustworthy. Mm. So then that's it then. So it? how you know when a liar is a liar? You don't, but if he's telling well, that's you... that's what I'm no, talking about. No, but if he's telling you, look, listen, this is all I want. If a liar tell you, say, you can't trust me, how you know that? No, he's not lying. He's being honest. But how you can't trust a liar? No, he's not lying. He's being honest. But he's how you know? You know the man? No, it, the example that Chris gave... <laughs> Me say if you know the am man... I wrong? Am I wrong? The example you gave is a guy saying is the honesty is the trust because he's being honest. But how you know he's not lying? Even if it's something that she don't want to hear. Mm. No, he's not lying. Communication just, is... Yeah, it's a it, communication, it's, yeah. Even if it's communication could be just being honest or talking to that person. Yeah, even I if even if it's, a lot. even if she doesn't want to hear what the person's got to say, because remember, all those three things cover a lot. Being a, being good in the bed means that you are emotionally in tune with her, so that covers all the emotional side. You ever have a morel where you lie to her? Yeah, mm, me uh, too. <laughs> have you not ever been? Have you not ever been put, too honest? Have, no, yeah, <laughs> God, all, all the while. Like how? <laughs> you see, back in my here day, <laughs> I was a he one liar. <laughs> but then you, one of my big friends them come to me and say, listen to man, you all get yourself into so much trouble. It's time to cut out the bullshit. And I was tired of lying, Chris. So we start telling you how it's truth. Yeah. Your breath stink. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, that's not, that's not nice, first. What do you mean you can't, you tell can't do that? That's not being honest, that's being insensitive. And he called himself a high value no, man. Let me just ask you oh, an you're example. Insensitive. You're insensitive. No, no, no. It's not this. <laughs> all right. Let me ask you a question now, right? That's insensitive. I'm going to talk to the, to the Merrill then. <laughs> I mean, no, Your no, stick. No, yes. listen to me. How could you say that to me? No, listen to me. Ladies, have you ever been with a man and they want to push up his tongue in your mouth and they mouth stink? <laughs> you can tell him, say mouth stink. Yeah, but you can't tell a woman that her mouth stink. <laughs> why not? If a woman can tell you, say your mouth stink, why you can't tell her stink? Go in the bathroom, go brush your teeth and your tongue. How did you say it to her? You know, you ever say, you, you must think. You said it just like that? Yes. <laughs> you think I do what, Chris? It feels so good to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you, you think I do what? I wish he was joking. Because that's, yeah, that's... Listen that's to me. Cool tact, first. Listen to me. Back in the mid-years, right? 
This is why we can't talk certain things because I've been there, did it, and I've done it. I've lied. No, let me start again. I've been honest, faithful, and truthful. And that's when the girl bun you, isn't it? Right? That's then me turn one who a liar. After you got cheated on. Then me turn one honest. Why? Why? So what? And you see, you? no, no, mis no missensitive. Okay. What changed you in those instances? You live and you learn, Kian. Mm. You know the way that when you walk through life, you have to open up your eye. You can't walk through the world with your eyes shut. You got to bump into things. You know the way that listen to the facts of life. So do you think that you've learned? Because do you think you've learned from all of your mistakes? Of course. Have you learned from all your mistakes? No. Okay. But because you're still a puppy, you have to still grow up. I learned from most because I'm one of them. That's what we, that's where wisdom comes from. I think. I think wisdom is ha having a mistake and not going back on your mistake. Mm. And that then is it. You become wiser. But if you keep going back on your mistake, then you're, then you're a stupid dummy. Mm -hmm. So if you had someone that's like lied to you, and Plenty to, it is people lie to you. Any in man will tell you said they know have nobody will lie to them. I mean, in terms of women as well, have you, of ever, course. have you ever caught someone lying on you and how did you approach Listen it? to me. Me catch many Marel them lie. So what happened? What, give me an example of what happened. <clears throat> Let me think about it. Which Marel lie? I, I, I've, I've caught one. Do you think that the, the women you've been with in the past, do you think that any of them cheated on you that you suspect but you never caught? Yeah. Hold on, wait, wait. <laughs> You're confused yourself. No, I'm, I'm, no I'm, thinking, I'm, thinking about, I'm thinking about them all the way. Mm. It's hard, you know, because I don't think so. I don't think so. You don't know if a woman like your bun. You've been cheated on bare times, man. Please, don't put me in your bracket. You ain't no bad, man. Don't, don't put you me in your no bracket. Bad, don't put me in your bracket. Kian, one, remember what, one question. thing about me. I'm, was you a gallus back in your day? Back in my day, I was a gallus. Even a gallus get bun. No. But don't you mean no, Lua? No, but as in... Blue no, touch. no, but as in not if it's my gal. You think your gal... What, like back in the day? See, all right, say like it's a girl, it's a girl that you just see it. Yeah, she might be seeing another guy. So, yeah. That could happen. But your actual girl, girl. But, that, but my girl, girl? Oh, you know, see so your girl, girl, no cheap, are you? Yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah you idiot. I'm at a certain age, they must have cheated. Kian, and, um, I'm thinking, because I'll be, I'll be honest, I've, Kian, I've been, yeah? you know what is girl clone? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Kian. <laughs> Let me teach you something about the Marelle. <laughs> right? Like, Fuck you, mate. You have some decent Marelle, mm -hmm. where you know, say, <laughs> them tell you, say, they don't have sex with anybody else. It's all about you mm. and all them things there, right? Bullshit. And when you go in there, it's some tight like a vice. Thumbs up, right? How <laughs> should eat? You can have a next barrel where she tell it, say you are the only one. Mm. She haven't had sex in two years. She don't even push no vibrator up her tun tun. And where you're going there, you sleep all day down to her cervix. <laughs> Four bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Man put his foot up on the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> you know where we are there? The open fireplace. Right in. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to know, you have to, yeah. you have to use your senses. So do you believe in the fact that if they're tight, then they haven't cheated. Because you believe that, right? Well, it's a more good sign for, for know that. No, well, some, some people just, just, have just made different, man. Some women just me, me never say 100%, but yeah. it's more, you know, that we are uh -uh. there. Some women just naturally have tight pum pum, no matter how much time they But have. if you're on a basketball up there, you think you're going to be tight? A basketball? <laughs> why, why did you go basketball? What the hell are you going Not to be tight bat. if you a put a basketball up there? <laughs> Come chat your shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Have you got any facts first? Any of course, we have a fact. So give me a fun fact. Do you know? Mm -hmm. We're back. We are back. Mm -hmm. We're doing a rated 18 live show, all booked in at the Indigo O2 in Greenwich mm -hmm. on the 3rd of May 2025. Come on. Yeah, no. We step up. So, so you, got, you got, what, eight months to get your money together, people? Yes. Yes? So no excuses. Yeah. You can put aside a tenner per month. But it's not going to be that much. Chris is making drinks, eight drinks as well. Oh, I get it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. As a night out. As yeah, a night out. as a night out. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, get yeah. that. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> just, everyone's just start switch off. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a good night. Um, we're going to have some special surprises for you guys. The last two shows at the Lesser Square Fit, I sold out really quick. So 
We've gone for a much bigger venue now. That held 400, that, those sold out within a week. Uh. This holds just under 2,000. So it's like five times as big. Let us know if you want to ask five. Oh! So let us know if you guys, we're wondering, we're, we're thinking, we're debating whether we should have an after party to the show. I don't, I, I'm not even listening to them. Yeah, let's have an after party, watch how much of them turn up. People lie, you know? I know people you lie. You know how much people say, you should do a show, I'll subscribe. And half of them don't. I hear that. Them, that. That's what happens. I hear that. But we can only ask the question. Yeah. And maybe they might come back and say, mm -hmm. definitely. Because some, yeah. some people will be coming Some people coming from out of London and be staying in London that night. Because it's a bank holiday as well. Yeah, it's true. And it's a Saturday. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will stay down. Mm. So we can have a, if we have an after party. Mm -hmm. we'll yeah, be, we can have an after party. And even Percy will be there. <laughs> yeah. Somehow. Who will tell us I'm going to be there. You're going to be there. He's You'll the find me in the darkest kind of wind on some. Pretty Marell, let me just hear there. I just want to let you guys know that the rated 18 is the number one fastest growth mm -hmm. in the UK. Done at the moment, and it's official. So it's official, man. So big up Christopher Savage. I know the team. Big up Uncle Percy. Big up yourself. Mm -hmm. Kane Brown. Guys, thank you very much. If you want to become a Ray team, guys, make sure you sign up. Let me just tell you what you get when you sign up to our Patreon. Let me just explain to you. You get all of those episodes full. in full. So you get the whole hour and a half, two hours, two hours, 15. You get bonus episodes as well. All of them are on there from the beginning up until now. When you sign up to the Patreon, you will get first options to buy tickets. So basically you sign up. First get, dibs, isn't it? Yeah, first dibs. So then you'll be able to, you'll be in the same building as Uncle Percy. Can you imagine? <laughs> Thanks for supporting guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, people. All right, all right. Big up for your TTT. Every Sunday we show need.